Hey guys, it's Paul, PNUK Training. We're going to do just a quick uh, lesson on Teachable. Uh, they've just they've just released this new complete and continue button. So this is where it usually lives in the top right corner. But what they've done is added this one to the but to the bottom of the content. Uh, and maybe we like it or not, it, it may make more sense for people using mobile phones because I think this on a mobile phone um, it just shows up as like a dash. But down the bottom of the lesson, complete and continue. Uh, to me, makes sense. But if you don't like it there, you want to edit it, you know enough about HTML to edit the style. But if you just want to get rid of it, this is what you need to do. If you've got access on your site, so go into dashboard, go to site, and go to power editor. If you go down to lectures, you'll see here, lecture content complete button. And this is the, the, um, the, the code for that button. And you can tinker with the code as, if you, uh, as much as you want to, or if somebody you know uh, knows what to do with it. I don't particularly know how to edit it enough. I probably could work it out. But if I just want to get rid of it, all I'm going to do is sideways B bracket, and there might be a fancy name for that, exclamation mark, dash, dash. That will make everything go gray. I don't. You might not have to do the dash, dash, other bracket at the end, unless you've got code elsewhere that you want to work. Save that publish it now when you go to refresh your page the complete and continue button will have gone to return it do the opposite well you could just in, you could reset the page but if you've got other code there then you might not want to but we're going to save it uh, uh yeah and then we're going to refresh and it sh the button should return there it is so that's how they say in their little notification how to remove it if you don't have access to the power editor so when you go to site, oh, no, 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 go there. If you go to site, I didn't want to show people's email addresses. That's why I was a little bit worried. Um, Power Editor. If you don't have Power Editor or you don't have access to it, then you need to fire up a help ticket and ask them to remove it. So, yeah, that's the new positioning of Complete and Continue. To me, it makes sense to be there uh, as long as it doesn't spoil the flow. If you've got any extra coding like this for me, is extra coding. So maybe I'll bump, I might bump this information above the code, complete and continue, so people can um, still see the information. Uh, but hopefully that was a quick tutorial on how to get rid of that button if you don't like it. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Come and come to uh, pnuk.com forward slash teachable. That's where all my free teachable training is. Uh, and there's sign up links and there's some discounts for teachable. If you are thinking about using it, there's all the information there. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. Paul out.